Hey everybody, today we're going to be creating this list of data. So right now it's just a picture of me and a name. And you can scroll through this and in real life you wouldn't have the same image again and again. It might be a list of friends, a list of emails, a list of invoices, a list of your favorite websites, a list of blog posts. It could be just about anything. We're going to use Recycler View to make this list. So there are a hundred of these at the bottom and it goes all the way to the top. This is going to be a little bit more complicated, so if you just want to sit back and watch, you can do that. Or you can follow along, and if you have trouble, um, I may I have a limited time, but I may be able to check out some of the comments. So there's that list of data, photo, a name. You can scroll through it. That's pretty basic. So let's go ahead and do basic activity. This will be a new uh, project. Go ahead and hit next. We'll call this, let's call this some um, first, um, Recycler view because that's what it's called. Make sure it's Kotlin. Select use Android X. Go ahead and finish that. And this should fire up and it should load all of our files and get all set up. And it looks like it's almost done. I'm just going to resize those a little bit. Notice there's no preview there. Not exactly sure why that is. Let's go to build clean. A lot of times this will work. That didn't do anything. Let's see what the error is. Render problems. Let's try going into Gradle and it's doing something. So a lot of times these Gradle numbers will be out of date and they have, they're highlighted. Like see how that ones are highlighted, those are highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, Option Enter, then Enter, uh, same thing there. Click on it, Alt Enter, uh, then just select to upgrade it. This may make it work, I'm not exactly sure. But this is pretty common. Like if something's not working and you're using an outdated version of a library, go ahead and update that to the latest version, hit sync, and let's see if that fixes it. And no, it still didn't. So let's see, let's go ahead and go up to build, let's go to clean. That's kind of your next step. If that doesn't work, then go ahead and clean it. If not, maybe rebuild it. While we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and close the other project that I was testing on. That still didn't do it. Okay, this is like the nuclear option. I'm going to go to invalidate caches and restart. And again, you might not have to do any of this. It might already work just fine. It might already work just fine on your, uh, on your Android Studio. Let's see if this works. And if it does, let's just wait a couple of seconds. In reality, like I make these videos, but in reality stuff goes wrong sometimes. Like I need to, I forgot to sync Gradle or I forgot to like add this method or like stuff just happens. And a lot of times you can go to either clean, rebuild, you can go into Gradle, you can upgrade stuff, or you can go to like file and validate caches and restart. That'll kind of reset a lot of things in Android Studio. So like if you're coming into some problem, chances are one of those three things I just pointed out will probably fix it all. So let's just see if this works. So this is our layout file, it's the content main. We're gonna see, and it does, okay, cool. So chances are again, you might not have to do that, but if you do, you can always go to clean, rebuild, you can update Gradle versions, and you can go to invalidate caches and restart. So with that, we're good. So let's go, let's go ahead and go into uh, content main, and I'm gonna select that. Uh, then hit delete because we don't want that anymore. I'm going to go to main activity and a lot of this code we don't need. So I'm going to get rid of pretty much all of those methods and clean that all up and we're good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need a list. We're going to create a list of, we're going to create a list. I don't have it up anymore, but we're going to create a list of people. Uh, we'll just call it a list of friends. It'll be a list of me basically. So I'm going to close that. We don't need it anymore. So let's open up content main and let's add in a recycler view. So click and drag, add a recycler view in there. Uh, okay, yes, that's fine. Wait a second. Okay, there's our list. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just like make it really small for now. Put it kind of in the middle somewhere. Then to constrain it, click, drag, let go. Click, drag, and let go. And I've covered this in a previous video. So click, drag, and let go. I click drag and let go. So we have our list there. Now you notice it's kind of small. It's not automatically growing to the space. So over on the right there is attributes. So with the recycler view selected, go ahead and click until it, it becomes like, until it looks just like that, both vertical and horizontal, then it will fill up all of the space there. So go ahead and save that. That's exactly what we need. We have a recycler view there. Oh, we need to give it an ID. So we'll call this friends recycler view. So now we have access to that. 
So let's go ahead and open up main activity. And inside of here, we call this friends recycler view dot apply is what we can kind of need to do. So you'll notice that we, you know, we gave it an ID and the ID for this recycler view is friends. It kind of, it kind of lays out this UI element and makes it compatible so we can use it inside of our Kotlin inside of our Kotlin class. So inside of here, let's do linear, let's, let's do uh, layout manager equals linear layout manager. Then we'll pass some this at main activity. And then if, if, you, if, if, you're, if your activity is named something else, then you're gonna have to change it. But in my case, it's this at main activity. So save that. We need one more thing here, adapter equals, and we'll call this friends adapter, and just like that. So now it's giving an error. So the error is that if you put your mouse over it, say unresolved reference friends adapter, go ahead and click on that once, then do option enter, uh, then do create class friends adapter. And we'll, we'll extract it to a separate file. That's fine, hit okay. I'm just gonna get rid of all that. And this needs to extend. Yeah, so here's our friends adapter. And if we locate it, it just created it in the same file there. That error should go away. Oh, it doesn't. That'll go away in just a second. So this, okay, so we're, in, we're inside of here. We're inside of our friends adapter. This needs to extend, this needs to extend recycler view dot adapter. And this basically says, hey, use a bunch of code that's already been written. So you, you don't have to write, we don't have to write thousands of lines of code to get a list of data to work. All we need to do is just pull in a bunch of code that somebody else has written. So we're gonna call, we're gonna pull all of that in, and then we'll do friends adapter dot view holder, just like that. And we're getting a couple of errors there. So first of all, view holder, I'm gonna click on there and do option enter. Then we'll do create class view holder is fine. Let's go ahead and do it inside of friends adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that space there. Then let's, uh, same thing with our view holder. We need to actually extend some, uh, something. So let's do this, let's do view, view. And then we'll extend recycler view dot view holder. And we need to pass in the view there. I think that should work. There is an ambulance outside. I don't know if you can hear that. I live in downtown Austin, so there's sirens pretty much all over the, all of the time. So there we go. So our view holder's done. We're not gonna have to mess with that anymore, but we're, you see we have some errors under class friends adapter. And you can tell that because of the red line underneath. Click on there and do option enter and do implement methods and select all of those and hit okay. And that'll pull in a bunch of code for us. So we'll go ahead and get rid of, uh, oops, I got rid of something accidentally. So out of these three methods, there are only two we're really gonna work on in this video. The first one is get item count, and the second one is on create view holder. So we're not gonna really mess with actually showing the data quite yet. So for this, we're just gonna cheat a little bit. We'll do 100. So this will say, hey, there'll be 100 rows, 100 friends. And in real life, you can set this to the number of friends you have. So if you have five friends, you know, there you go. If you have a thousand friends, then you could just set this to a thousand or whatever, or just whatever random number you have. So for, let's just do, it's 25, why not? Okay, so we have all of that. And oh well, yeah, so let's, let's work on this on create view holder next. So let's do this. Let's create a new variable we'll call val view equals layout inflator dot from parent dot context. So it's gonna say, hey, create a new variable that can't change and <laughs> I get some water really quick. Sorry, I'm back. Had to get some water my my mouth is getting super dry. Okay, so we basically says, hey, we have view and we have a new value, we have a new variable. We're gonna set it to layout inflator dot from, and so we're passing in the parents context, so we just need to do that. Then at the end here, do dot inflate, and this is where we're actually gonna say, hey, for every single row, we're gonna use a certain layout. So do r dot layout dot row friend. And that'll give you an error because it hasn't been created yet, but let's continue on for now. So do parent comma false, just like that. 
So now we're still getting that error with the row friend. We'll create that in just a second. But on this next line, we need to return something. So let's return view, view, holder, view, just like that. Okay, cool. So now the only error should be this row of friend right now. So go ahead and click on error and do option enter, then do enter. Sorry, I'll, that'll, be, that'll be my last water break. Okay, cool. So we have row friend, and this one, let's go ahead and change it to constraint layout. So that's, that's good right there. Double click that, hit OK. And here's our row friend. So that's created now. So now it gets rid of that error. So inside of row friend, let's just do something really quick. Let's add a button in. So click and drag a button, and let's do constraint, click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go, and let's save that. We have everything ready, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the emulator, and I'm gonna do that. Wait till it gets, it recognizes it, hit okay, go back to the emulator, and let's wait a couple of seconds, and let's see if this crashes or not. <laughs> so here we are, it's still, great old build is running, and it's installing the APK, here we go. So there's our button, but we only see one of those. So what's going on? You'll notice if you scroll though, you'll see another button. So this is kind of weird, like what's going on? Basically each row is taking up all of the space, all the way, so the first record, so we have, we have 25 records there, and for each record, we're, we're using the row friend layout, so let's uh, control click on there, it'll go inside of there. And this row right here, let's actually do something. Let's go into text mode, and um, let's, you might not need to do this, but let's set from Android. Okay, let's just, that's kind of weird formatting. But the thing I wanted to do is, so there's notice there's a design mode and text mode. So if you go to text mode, let's do this. Let's add a background of, let's make it red. So if you go back to design mode, you'll see, hey, all of this is red. It's taking up all of that space. If you were to go back in the side of text, and change the height instead of match to wrap content. If we go back to design mode, you'll notice, hey, it only takes up the same amount of room. So if we were to save this and run it, <coughs> you notice, well, there's a red color, but the button takes up only a little bit of space. So we can go back into here and we can get rid of that red because we don't actually want it to be red. I'm gonna come down here, make some space. Uh, save it, and if we go back to design mode, yeah, it looks good. Let's go ahead and run it again. Go back to the emulator, and there you go. So there's the button. So what we want to actually do, we actually want to display, we, want, we don't want a button there, we want some other stuff. And so just, if you want to, you can hit on that button and then delete it. Let's add in first a recycler view somewhere. Let's cancel that. Let's, let's drag in a recycler view, and we can actually put in, well, let's not do it that way. First, let's go, let's go to your finder or your documents or whatever and find a good photo. Make sure it doesn't have spaces. Make sure it has underscores or whatever. Right click and copy that. And let's go into drawables and paste that inside of there. Do drawable, click OK. OK, that should import it in. If we double click on there, we should see a photo of me. So that's a photo of me from a couple of years ago or a year ago. So now let's go back to row friend. Now we need to add in an image view. So drag one in, go to project and select photo there, hit okay. And let's, with the photo selected, let's make it 100, uh, let's do 100 DP. Let's do 100 DP, enter. That makes it, you know, medium sized. Let's click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go. Let's save that and run it again, and let's just see if this works. Let's see if this will... Okay, there we go, so it kind of works. Now we need to add my name there. So what we're gonna do is let's do this. Let's add text view and let's click and drag it just somewhere on the screen. Um, and then let's do, let's do this. Let's do left, click and drag, let go, click and drag and let go, click and drag and let go, whoops. The last one got off, I think. <coughs> so let's click and drag and let go. And that might have worked, I don't know. 
my throat's getting kind of sore. So say that, um, text view. Let's go ahead and make this text. Let's make it Daniel Malone. Let's save that. Save it and let's run it. <coughs> So there we are, there's Daniel Malone. So there's a list of Daniel Malones. Now in real life, you'd probably, <coughs> excuse me. So in real life, you'd probably do it with um, different, you'd, do, you'd have different people in there. But in this case, you know, at least we got the basic setup. And the next video will actually create a different set of users where we have different users instead of the same user again and again. So I gotta go ahead out for this video, but I'll see y'all in the next video, thanks.